Good afternoon and salam ibu petiwiku. The U.S. Air Force has warned people against participating in an internet joke suggesting a large crowd of people storm Area 51, the top secret Cold War test site in Nevada desert. A prank event on Facebook that's attracted more than one million interested people suggests that a mass of people attempt to run into the mysterious site at the 3 a.m. on September 20th. The site is part of the vast Nevada test and training range and has become the center of UFO's conspiracy theories. Nelly's Air Force Base said in a statement that the Air Force is aware of the Facebook posting and says any attempt to legally access the area is highly discouraged. The Air Force says it does not discuss its security measures and that the test and training range provides a flexible, realistic and multi-dimensional battle space for testing and advanced training in support of U.S. national interests. A key suspect in the 2017 Manchester Arena bombing that killed 22 people was arrested Wednesday at the London airport after being extradited from Libya. According to Greater Manchester Police Hashim Abdi, the younger brother of suicide bomber Saman Abdi has been arrested for murder, attempted murder and conspiracy to cause an explosion likely to end in July. He was taken to a London police station and is expected to appear, to appear in Westminster Magistrate Court in the coming days. Authorities believe Hashim played a major role in planning the suicide bombing, the deadliest in a string of extremist attacks in London and Manchester in the spring and summer of 2017. Salman Abadi, who set off the Manchester bomb at the end of an, an Ariana Grande concert on May 22, 2017, died in the explosion, which also wounded hundreds, including many with devastating injuries. At least two people, including a Turkish diplomat, were shot dead on Wednesday in a rare attack in the capital of Iraq's northern Kurdish region. According to a witness, a gunman opened fire at a restaurant in Erbil where Turkish diplomats were dining before fleeing in a car driven by an accomplice. There was no immediate claim or responsibility as security forces began a search for the attackers. Turkey, Iraq's central government in Baghdad and Kurdish authorities in Erbil condemned the attack which took place weeks after Turkey launched a new military offensive against Kurdish separatist militants based in northern Iraq. Well, that is all for me. I'm Yemes Rani from TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.